Hi, welcome back to the Circuit Playground Express online workshop. In this section, we're going to learn about what is a program and how does it work. So, a program has two main parts. If we're going to simplify it down to its bare bones, there's setup and there's a loop. So, the setup portion of a code initializes all our settings that we want for our code that we run, and that's something that happens once when we first power on our board or start our code, and then doesn't necessarily happen again. The other section that our code falls into is a loop. And loops are necessary because if you don't have a loop, then your program will run through the code once, and then reach the end, and then stop. So what we need our programs to do is run through all the things we want to do, and then when it gets to the end, start over at the beginning again. So this way, it's continuously looking. And this is necessary because a program will run at thousands of times per second through your entire code. So if you want to listen for a button press, you get that button press. If it only ran through once, before you could even push the button, the program would have reached the end and stopped. So instead, it will run through continuously while powered until you happen to be hitting the button when it gets to that part in the code. So let's take a look at it in make code. When we open up make code, we always have a forever loop already in the workspace. And this is where your main body of code will be. So everything that goes in here is put into a loop. If we have setup portions of the code, we would put them in an on start bracket. Now on start will run through once when we power up the board and then it won't run again. And the sorts of things that you want to put in here are, say, we're going to do something with lights. We're going to take set brightness and put it in on start. So then when we first power up our board, we'll initialize our lights to the brightness we want them to be, assuming we don't want them to change throughout the sketch. And then they'll be set to this brightness and they'll stay that way for the entire program. If we had that inside the loop, then it would work the same, but you'd be setting the brightness every single time, a thousand times a second or something. Every time the program goes through, it would set the brightness and it bogs down your code, it slows down your program, and it just makes it a little more confusing to have those unnecessary things in there. So it's good to keep those out of your loop. So a good example is of something that will run in a loop is we'll do a show animation for half a second. If we look at our virtual board, we can see that the rainbow animation is playing and it's continuing to play because every time a half second's up, the forever loop starts the code over and plays the animation again without any discernible gap in between. If we were to take it out of the loop and put it on on start and take a look at our virtual board, we'd see that it plays for a half second and then stops. So the main body of the code needs to go within the loop so it continuously runs. Something that can get a little confusing about make code that's a little bit different from like a standard program is that you can have as many loops as you want and it'll still work just the same. So even though I'm throwing up throwing a bunch of things on on our workspace here that are also loops and I could fill them with different blocks of code but they'll all run as if it was just one loop. So really this is just breaking up so it's easier to understand with the visual interface. So you don't need to worry about which forever loop is running. They're going to all run simultaneously. Well, technically they'll probably one run through one, then the next, then the next. But that's all happening behind the scenes and you don't need to worry about it. Sometimes it's easier for the sake of clarity within your make code to break it into separate forever blocks just so just so you can see it more clearly if it's going to be something really long. So that wraps up this section on the basics of how a program works. Stick around for the next section we're going to talk about inputs and outputs. <laughs>